morning, guys. Um, what's today? Thursday. I am on my way to West to have some blood work done. I'm getting a 21 day progesterone and <laughs> my temperature this morning is back down to the cover line. I'll put in a screenshot of my chart right here. Uh, yeah. So, not feeling too confident about this this month, but at least that means I'll get to try Femara next month. That'll be nice. Hopefully. Alright, so I uh, walked in the door to Quest and there were 13 people standing in line. And I don't have time to wait for that. So um, I walked down the plaza and went to Milk and Honey Frozen Yogurt. If you are a Mariana person and you haven't been here, what is wrong with you? Um, but it's it's uh, a frozen yogurt place but they have like coffee and donuts and stuff too so I've never had one of their coffees I've only come for the frozen yogurt so I'm really excited about this um, I guess I'm gonna email my friend that works at Quest in a little while and ask her if I can come on my lunch break because um, usually whenever I talk to her first she can get me in and out really fast, but I don't think there's anything going to be really fast in there this morning. And another thing, this is made with the frozen yogurt. Um, it's got vanilla frozen yogurt as the base, and then it's got um, dark chocolate the little pumpy thing the dark chocolate pumps in it and then it's got coffee and then a chocolate drizzle but yeah I did not know that they made them with frozen yogurt as well it was kind of befuddling um and also the guy that works here I was like you know you look really familiar and he told me what his name is and his last name I was like oh my god you're Callie's husband just kidding I do know you he was like oh yeah so. everybody knows everybody around here was so much faster than I expected it to be. <laughs> Whenever I walked in this afternoon, there was like six people standing in line or like sitting down and um, it's freaking hot in here. And so after everybody got sat down, I want to look really wrinkly. Um, shush. Shush. After everybody got sat down and stuff, I signed in. Oh, and they have a new little system, so it's on the computer now, and it's pretty cool. But, like, two minutes later, she was like, Kelsey, go ahead and come back. I was like, yes. So, in and out. I uh, gotta go pick up people's food from work. I'm, like, if you had asked me, I don't know, this morning, whenever I first woke up, if I thought I could be pregnant this cycle, I would have told you absolutely not, just because my temperature is just so low. Like today, it's at the cover line. If I did, yeah, I did put the picture in there. Um, today, it's at the cover line, but like I'm, I'm cramping like I'm on my period, and I'm like, is this really? Could this actually be like implantation? I don't know. I mean, that because that could be an implantation dip, but it's doubtful. But I just... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm just going to find out in like a week-ish or two. No, not two. What am I? I think I'm 5 DPO. I'm not testing until... I'm, I'm going to test on 10 DPO and then 12 DPO. So, there is my goal. And I will make it to that goal. I think. Okay, so I just went to Taco Bell for myself, and um, 
Thank you. Thank you. So I just wanted to talk about for myself, and then I had to come to Hardy's for somebody else at the office. And at Taco Bell, um, the girl that took my order was extremely rude and short. And I was like, all right, thanks, have a good day. And she just stared at me. And then the guy that just took my order at Hardy's, he was speaking so slowly I could not understand him. And uh, not like speech impediment slow, just like lazy slow, don't want to be there. And uh, then obviously you just saw that I had to say thank you twice before he even acknowledged me. So look how red my face is. That's what happens when I get mad. And it's ridiculous. Like, I know sometimes I have a bad attitude because people suck, but if you're gonna be in the drive through window and work there all day and you have an attitude like that, you need to go somewhere else so you're not talking to people because, like, seriously, I wanted to slap them both. It's ridiculous. So, work is over. Uh, and counting down my drawer at the end of the day was really annoying because it wasn't right and I'm not gonna be there tomorrow so I'm like crap my drawer's not right so hopefully I just messed up a deposit from yesterday and then they can fix it tomorrow but if not that sucks um, so I am on my way to Walmart to see if I can find a swim shirt for the boy um, his mom gave us the one that he wears over at her house whenever they go swimming and stuff, but I mean, we need one for our house anyway, so I'm going to try and find one. Um, that way we'd have our own over there, because usually whenever the boys have gone swimming this summer, we were only out there for like an hour, maybe that, and you know, we lather them up real good, but if we're going to shipwreck this weekend, then... People are honking and they're making me nervous. Um, if we're going to shipwreck this weekend, then he definitely needs to be covered for longer than an hour. Because I do not want him to get burnt. Because he is extremely fair, like I am. And I burn extremely easily. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can find one. I'm sweaty. Uh, so I found the boy a shirt. Ah! That's sad. I found the boy a shirt, then we watched some jujitsu, and now I'm about to go and have my massage. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have somebody new, but I'm sad to have somebody new because the class that I've been with for the last year, you know, the ones that I've like used for the last year, they had their last week this week. So, no more of them. Stop. It's been really hot and I think my uh, my thing is upset because it's been really hot. Oh my God, this traffic. Okay guys, so I, I'm i sitting out here in front of the massage school. You know what, let's just see if it's gonna cooperate at all. Okay, so I'm sitting out here at the massage school and then I saw this girl walking in front of my car. I was like, oh my God, it's Selena. So I beat the horn at her and I rolled down the window and then I was like, hey, and she's like, I thought that was you, but I was gonna see if you did something because I didn't want to like stare in your car. I was like, okay, well, hey. And then I said, I smell fresh puppies. And she looked at me crazy. I was like, you know, like a fresh litter of puppies? She was like, I just got a puppy today. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> my sniffer's working real good today. Um, oh, what else was it? Lawrence said something so funny at jujitsu today and I cannot remember what it was, but I, forgot but it was really funny I was like I wish I had recorded that all right so now I am on the road to go pick something up and then I can go home um, my massage was awesome I have been very fortunate the last um, three classes that the first person that I tried did really good and I didn't have to like switch around to find somebody that was decent. So I'm definitely going to be using this student 
probably for this whole class. Um, I feel better in my shoulders because my phone answering shoulder always, always, always hurts. Plus, this is my new tattoo shoulder. So, that's been a little tender, but now I feel really nice. And, uh, it's really, really good. So, I will see you guys whenever I get home. So, I have never seen a fox in, well, I mean, I've seen a fox in real life, but I've never seen a fox in the wild. And I just had a fox run across the highway right in front of me. Like, had to slam on brakes so I didn't hit it. I was so confused. Alright, so I just got home. <clears throat> I think I dropped some money. Hopefully it's in my seat. There it is. Haha. -ha. Um. So I just got home and that light is really bright. Um, it's like 10.15 now and I am exhausted and everyone else has showered besides me so I'm gonna go shower and go to bed. So, good night. See you tomorrow.